So hey guys, um, this is a new vid, and um, it's going to cover the consumption event, but at the same time it's a little bit of a sad vid. Um, Ramen, my rival friend in this game, in this server at least, sadly he quit, and he's not going to be playing anymore, um, at least as far as he told me. Um, and yeah, uh... Hey, I'm quitting the game due to a huge dispute with the developer. Sorry, but you have to carry the clan by yourself from now on. Good luck. It's disheartening in some ways because, well, um, it sounds arrogant, but who's gonna, you know, like, get me to move forward, you know? I mean, the only one who ever can actually challenge me, at least for now, on this server is actually Roman. Nobody else has the ability to, and yeah, it's, I mean, uh, it's disheartening. In some ways it is good for me, I suppose. I mean, I have undisputed access to the mines, completely undisputed. Whoever the hell I want to destroy, I will completely destroy. And at the same time, um, I'm losing, uh, you know, somebody who could push me forward, uh, get me to work faster. Uh, get more CP, uh, you know, make this game a little more fun, even though it already is a certain amount of fun. It just makes it that much more fun. Um, honestly, Ramen, uh, whatever the dispute is, um, you know, just if you need any help, if you, you know, anything really, if I can help you out with um, that, I'd be more than willing to, you know, it's the least I could do. Um, also another thing to you, Ramen, if you're watching this, uh, I don't know if you're gonna watch my videos anymore, simply because, well, you're not gonna be playing, and, you know, sucks. Um, you were kinda there, I think, from right around the beginning, uh, but yeah. So, if you're watching this, uh, just know that your position in the clan will always be there. Um, you, you won't get kicked out, um, yeah, you'll, you'll be right there. And, uh, yeah, so, it's a little disheartening. But, you know, you move on, I guess. Um, so, yeah, uh, the consumption events. So, as you can see here, I'm going to talk about this. So, the consumption event is a rather okay event, I suppose. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. Um, it does offer some decent rewards, especially considering that it is a rather cheap consumption event when compared to other events like the Obito and Uchiha. Obito, Uchiha, Madara events, all of those stuff. Um, the biggest consumption event rewards would be 30k. Um, it maxes out here at 12k. It's a fairly low number, especially if you're a higher tier player. Um, so the highest reward you can get from this consumption event is basically the Tilt Beast, Ginkaku, and Ginkaku skill book. So what it does, it speeds up, it has a probability, keep in mind that this won't always happen, it has a probability, you know, it's a certain amount of chance, it's like, yeah, it's like I said, it's left up to chance, it's not always going to happen. Uh, to speed up chakra recovery and tenacity of all team members, so... I could be rather useful, but at the same time, um, honestly, um, Sakura does that if you have her at level 105, and she's just an overall better card, but if you don't have Sakura at level 105, it's just better to have the Tilt Beast less Kinkaku and Ginkaku. does offer some okay bonuses. It gives, um, I'm assuming it's Senjutsu attack, um, 3k, 3,200 and 340 per level. Um, it gives HP 13k and 580 per level, it gives tenacity 30 and 4 per level, and uh, ninjutsu defense 3200 plus 240 per level. So I mean, it does give um, okay, um, okay bonuses, but you know, eh. Um, so at 100 gold consumed, you get 50 gold, at 200 gold consumed, you get bloodline stone times 10. At 800 gold, you get refining back times 5. At 1000 gold, you get a bunch of all powerful scrolls times 20. So just 20 all powerful scrolls. Um, at 3000, you get Ninja Dog Park times 20 back. Um, this is actually a fairly good reward simply because Ninja Dog Parks are rather hard to get, especially if you don't have access to good mines. Um, 
Toad Sage package times 10, 4,000 gold. Um, once again, this is an okay reward, um, simply because, you know, um, if you're going to be spending either way on this, um, consuming during this event, um, it's just a good thing to have, you know? Now, a 5k is where you get the actual weapons, and, um, the 5 star sword at tier 2 isn't very good, so if you're going to get this, um, you're going to want to shoot for the tier 3, not just the tier 2. The Amber Purifying Pot, from what I can see, is actually an equipment for, like, um, right here in Necklace slot. The, what do you call it? The weapon itself is in the weapon slot, and the ring is for the ring slot. It's fairly simple, but the pot is the Necklace spot. So, um, I'd say it's a fairly good, um, defensive and HP boosting item, simply because, um, like I said, it's defense and HP won't go that much. Unfortunately, the only way that you can actually get the tier 3 refining material for this item is through recharging. So you have to recharge 500 gold during each day um, during this event. And since this is the second day, unless you already recharged 500 gold yesterday, you're not going to be able to get it. I didn't mention this in the last video, um, and I'm sorry if you didn't catch that, but I did. <laughs> so at 7,000, you get the Curse Word Soul. And this is the tier 3 refining material for the seven star sword um so i'm gonna go ahead and lower the volume here and so you know you don't get hurt with your ears and we're gonna go to my server 11 now in my server 11 i do have um a few of those items because at the time that these guys came out i was still working on my server 11 accounts um i was fresh to the game i was you know a noob essentially and to put it in layman's terms and i did get him to silver get them to silver so as you can see here the Ko Kinjo at tier 3 um, actually loses Taiji to an Injutsu attack. Um, the reason for that being is, um, as far as I can guess or tell, the reason for that is because, well, um, it goes back up at tier 4. It should at least, at least that's what I'm hoping it does. But yeah, um, so the fat, the 7 star sword, which is what we were talking about, I, be I believe, um, let's go... Where is it? Seven star, seven star. It's around here somewhere. Just don't know who I have it on. No. <laughs> Sorry for that. Um, that's odd and peculiar. You can give a lot of um, green cards simply because um, at the time I was planning to go for uh, gold Naruto. And um, I mean, I've already done it once in one account. I'm really not willing to do it again. Aha. So here's the seven star sword. So at tier two, it's not very good. It only has 13k ninjutsu attack and 69k hit. But as you can see, once you go to tier three... However, it will get 25k hit and 37k ninjutsu attack. Now that not be, may be much compared to, say, the... What's it called? The Mount Mayuboko Scroll, if you have it. Um, but keep in mind that it does go to tier 4, um, as you can see here in latest notice. It goes to Kinkuku and Kinkuku. And 7 star tier 3. And Oh, my bad. I'm sorry, it doesn't go to tier 4. Either way, it goes to tier 3, and it is a fairly good um, item. It does give a lot of hits and some okay amount of ninjutsu attack. So if you're a new player or you just want to equip it to the Ginkuku and Kinkuku, um, it's it's a good item to have, and it only costs 7,000 gold, unlike some other items, which I know have costs right around 20 and 30k, like my Megatama fans. Um, the ones that I have here. The ones that I have on Sasuke. That's not, that's not Sasuke. On Sasuke, this Magatama fan and the Magatama ha fan that I have in my inventory each cost right around um, 30k consumption. So um, that should give you an idea of just how pricey um, certain items can get, especially when you try to get them to tier 3. Um, overall, this is an okay event. It's mostly a filler. I mean, personally, if I could, I would get the Toad's Age packages, you know, times 50, simply so, simply so I could get my Kakashi up to level 105. Right now, I'm at level 101. I only need a few more sh um, Toad Sages, right around 50. I should be able to get that in two or three days. And yeah, hopefully, I'll be able to showcase that tier, that level 105 um, skill, the 
the skill for Kakashi as it's right here. Or is it? It would be this one. Itachi Susano Kakashi. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do that within two or three days. Um, unfortunately, I can't open these right now. I prefer to open them at 30. Um, but they have been... They do have a low drop rate. Very, very low. You have to um, do at least like 1,000 worth of stamina. And I really don't want to do that. So, yeah. So that's about it for this video. Um, leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you don't. I appreciate you watching. And uh, yeah, once again, Ramen, um, you'll always be in the clan. As I won't kick you out. I won't like you know change anything. Um, so yeah, you'll always be in the clan. And uh, if there's a way I can help, I'd be more than willing to. Um, you know. And if you just want to quit, that's cool. You know, that's your choice. So yeah. Um. Bye, guys, and good luck training.